So I'm at the Como Cemetery. It's dark, it's late at night. I'm at the Como Cemetery in the middle of the Kyonyeol campus. There's uh, beautiful uh, blue bluebells and snowdrops adorning the graves, but some seriously old dead dudes out there. Anyway, we're talking about that tibial plateau. What are we doing with that? Can you seriously treat that non-operatively? When we look at that when we look at that coronal CT, you just see the depression there and you think surely that needs an operation. That is articulate incongruity, right? Because we're so geared into articular surfaces needing a perfect reduction. And I'll level with you, I'll be honest, that particular case did get ORIF. It did get fixed, it got a lateral plate, they knocked the joint up and they fixed it. The reason I chose it though, was because you can potentially treat that non-operatively. As Alex was explaining, Tibial plateaus, tibial plateau fractures are forgiving in terms of going on to develop arthritis. Even operatively fixed ones, which is where you fix it and it's often not perfect, they still have much, much less than a 10%, like even less than 7% long-term arthritis risk of going on to need knee replacements. So tibial plateau does not generally go on to arthritis. The problem you get is valgus instability. So they need, what do they need, remember? It was alignment and stability. Alignment, you check off the x-ray, is it aligned? Is the leg aligned? Is it stable in that alignment? In other words, is it rocking? Is, the, is, it, is it falling into that lateral joint space? There's the helicopter, you hear that? There he is, get off to the London, more for the shop. Is it stable? And you can assess that clinically. You could put some local anesthetic in, but actually sometimes you can just do it by the bedside. And you take the, the leg out of the brace, uh, create the leg in your arms and just apply valgus force and either it has an end point it may be a soft end point but an end point in which case that could be treated in a hinged knee brace or it really doesn't have an end point and it keeps wah, flopping out into valgus in which case that is unstable and that's never going to do so in this case i would have assessed the patient on the on the ward i would have done a valgus stress test if there was an end point to that i would have treated it non-operatively in a brace under the current conditions, if there was no end point, I would say we need to stabilise that lateral side to give her a lateral buttress. That's what I would have done for the lateral plateau.